Hey folks, it's UFO Jane from the Weird UFO Show and TexasUFOSightings.com. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, support the channel in any way you can, share about it with friends and family. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about them triangle UFOs, or should I say pyramid UFOs now. So director and investigator Jeremy Corbell just broke a story of multiple UFOs swarming a Navy ship in 2019. He shared leaked night vision video taken by the Navy, which shows a pyramid-shaped UFO. We have the best military on planet Earth, the greatest intelligence agencies. These are true unknowns. Separately, reporter George Knapp leaked a set of photos showing UFOs encountered by the Navy. These UFOs have been dubbed the Sphere, the Metallic, Alec Blimp and the acorn. Now I can tell you I have reported on many UFOs that look just like these pictures here in Texas, but of all the UFOs I've documented over the years, from the orbs to the cigars to the flying saucers, the triangle UFOs, they've been the hardest to explain and the most prevalent with the most photo and video evidence. So now I want to go through the top triangle UFO sightings that, well, maybe you haven't heard of. So we're not going to talk about the Belgium UFO wave or the Phoenix lights. Um, I scoured through 138 triangle UFO reports uh, from here in Texas that I've documented, as well as 55 worldwide uh, reports. So I'm just going to share the top eight sightings. I could have shared 10, but that would have taken too long and the video would have been too long and this would have been a whole thing. I know I've missed out on some great ones, so definitely comment if you know of any Triangle UFO videos or photos I should check out. Number eight, Triangle UFO over Northwest Texas or somewhere really a way up high in the sky. So you remember that American Airlines pilot who saw a cylindrical UFO flying over New Mexico? It made the mainstream news. Do have any targets up here? We just had something go right over the top of us that I hate to say this looked like a long cylindrical object. It almost looked like a cruise missile type of thing moving really fast that went right over the top of us. Well, after that news story broke, a pilot who saw a triangle UFO while flying over Northwest Texas decided to come forward. So the anonymous witness shared with Steve Douglas of the aviation and military intelligence news blog, Deep Black Horizon, about how in February 2018, he was a corporate pilot flying 50,000 feet over Northwest Texas when he spotted a mysterious triangular craft. According to the Deep Black Horizon blog, the witness saw a highly swept triangular wedge with two winglets on either side. He asked his co-pilot if he should report it to air traffic control, and uh, they decided to do that. So included in the article is, is an artist's rendition of DARPA's hypersonic aircraft, the Falcon HTV-2. Now, is that what this witness could have seen, or is this something far more advanced than that? I also documented multiple reports of cylindrical or cigar UFOs that were seen near planes, uh, but by witnesses on the ground here in Texas. So you can uh, read those stories below. I'll put the links in the description. Number seven, triangle UFO over South Texas. So in January 2018, a triangle UFO was filmed hovering and rotating over South Texas, specifically the town of Katerina. Now the witness posted the video to Facebook and that video got nearly a million views and was picked up by local news outlets. The witness later shared that the UFO made no noise and watching it was an amazing experience. Others also commented on the video saying that they'd seen similarly strange lights in the nearby town of Catula, Texas. Now, I've also reported on UFOs in Catula, specifically over the oil rigs, and those sightings were similar to this video from Katerina in 2018. So 
what do you think this video shows? Could these be military flares or something else easier to explain or aliens? Let me know. Number six, triangle UFO over Louisiana. Now the video I'm about to show you in the testimony I'm about to share where it was initially submitted to MUFON case 81061. And it purportedly shows uh, a large silent triangle craft over Kenner, Louisiana, that's in the New Orleans area on December 20th, 2016, around 4.52 AM. What makes this sighting really fascinating is the witness heard a pounding noise, a uh, rumbling noise before seeing this UFO. It's 4.52 AM, December 20th, 2016. It's the strangest thing. I don't know what this is or where it's coming from, but it's like a very deep bass sound. It just started up about 15 minutes ago. I don't know if you pick up on here or not the audio, but it's like a loud pounding sound just over and over. Boom, 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 boom. And what is that? Oh. That looks like a UFO. It's got three triangular, triangular lights. That is odd. And that craft is extremely quiet, and that's definitely not an airplane or a helicopter. I don't know what that was. It just passed by. Number five, triangle UFO over Saudi Arabia. So this uh, UFO video was just uploaded to YouTube by the witness, user Paul Mark Sampaga. There are actually two videos that were uploaded showing some strange looking orange, oranges, orangish orbs of light hovering and forming a triangle, but also disappearing and reappearing. What? What? Aliens, eh? How many are so I did follow up with the witness, explain that after this video was taken, the lights then went up and up and up until they were gone, and that jet fighters eventually showed up at the scene. Number four, UFO over Texas. So according to a MUFON report, case 94699, on August 31st, 2018, around 6.35 a.m. in El Paso, Texas, a white triangular shaped object was seen and filmed hovering in the daytime sky over El Paso. Here is the witness testimony that was sent to MUFON. I'm just going to read it. I was on my way to work the morning of August 31st. I stared at the sunrise as usual because I have to stop at a damn red light right before I get on the freeway to work. After a few minutes, I glanced to the right and saw a glowing triangle and thought it was weird. Even if it's explainable, it is an interesting video and picture. Now, what's I agree with this witness because what's especially interesting is another report of a triangle UFO over the Dallas area just a night after this was also reported of an enormous glowing white boomerang. Those are the witnesses' words. Number three, triangle UFO over Missouri. So this sighting occurred January 3rd, 2020, around 11.07 p.m. in St. Louis, Missouri, to be precise. And the witness, you know, posted video on Twitter pretty much right after they saw this. So let's check out this video together. And what I want you to do is imagine Flash from the Marvel DC Universe actor Ezra Miller as being one of the witnesses. Um, we can't be choppers. No, we would hear them. Look, there's another one. Oh, way over there? Yeah. It's a drone. It's gotta be drones. Look at that. Where's his, where's the little buddy? There he is. Yeah, there's another one. There's more more? No. There's the other one. Whack. That's crazy. So yeah, shout out Flash just in case you happen to be watching this. I did get in contact with the witness later and they elaborated that the UFO made no noise at all. After they stopped filming, the mysterious lights or triangle craft, whatever you wanna call it, continued on their normal flight path. Uh, the witness observed the UFO with their father, who you can hear in the background of the video. 
Number two, Triangle UFO over Virginia. So according to a MUFON report, case 77904, the witness saw a UFO triangle, their words, with their mother around 8.55 p.m. July 24th, 2016. So this was in Charlottesville, Virginia, specifically over 29 North near Kroger and Kmart. They described the UFO as being stationary before moving in a straight path in a north in the northeast direction and disappearing. Yes. What is that? It's an airplane. Is it? It's going over its real path. Is it? What is it? it looks like a drone. It's round looking. What is it? It don't look like no damn airplane. I just looked at it. What do you think it is? <laughs> no, seriously, what oh, is it's it? It's gone over. Is it went that way? I, I can't get over that way. I can't see. Well, put your camera down. Now, the witness did later reach out to me, and they just reiterated that they did not believe that this was a jet or an airplane. What do you think? All right, guys, the moment you've been waiting for, the number one triangle UFO sighting of all time. Okay, not really. But the number one triangle UFO sighting you probably haven't heard of before. So I'm going to set the stage a little bit with this one. So... Let's pretend like you're at an outdoor music concert in Austin, Texas. You're listening to a band perform live on stage, having the time of your life, and you look up at the night sky and you see three really bright lights, almost like stars, but there's something unnatural about them. They look like they're forming a triangle. And, and you start to realize maybe you're looking at a triangular craft. And you're probably thinking, did I drink too much? but you look around you and others in the crowd are also seeing the lights too, and nobody knows what they are. Well, this really happened. Pre-COVID guys, don't panic. <gasps> On October 12, 2013, in Austin, Texas, during the Austin City Limits Music Festival, during a performance by The Cure, three lights hovering in triangular formation were seen by many people in the crowd. And I'm sure that this happened because there were many photos and videos taken of this triangle UFO and one video was sent in to me by a friend so although he'd like to remain anonymous to you all he's not anonymous to me and I have no reason to believe he's making anything up <laughs> another video was sent in to me by a reader of texasufosightings.com Well, and up in the sky, those three lights do. Really... There were just multiple testimonies posted to places like MUFON and Twitter and, and New Fork and all of that. Now, the biggest theory I've seen going around is that these lights were Chinese lanterns, and while it's hard to totally rule that out, that's not what they looked like to me. They were still in the sky for a long period of time. They didn't look to be thrown around by the wind. You know, of course, let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, get the word out about this YouTube channel, support the search for the truth. Tell me what you think about these triangle UFO cases, or could these all be misidentifications, or perhaps our own top secret military tech, or could aliens be visiting in big, massive, silent, ominous triangle ships. But why are they visiting so frequently? What are they trying to tell us?